if you want to succeed as a corporate lawyer what will be the top skills in most demand so i wanted to share that also with you one obvious area is technology law right so technology law is really growing and it's going to grow even further right anybody has a doubt about this right so technology law is going to grow in a big way so what are the skills within technology law which are very very relevant tech contracts is going to be very very relevant digital privacy is a big issue is going to be very relevant skills related to digital privacy and law will be in high demand gdpr and pdpa gdpr is general data protection rules pdpa personal data protection act in india will have the digit uh, the personal data protection act which will get you know uh, uh, which will come into play and there is already massive work related to gdpr that you can do in india and abroad and definitely personal data protection law will be a game changer people are already gearing up to comply to this and it will be very interesting cyber security and cyber crimes at an all time high remember all those 50 crore people coming online right Th that will also be crazy because they don't know how to use the internet and there will be enough people trying to take advantage of them on the online world and we india have this is one area where there is huge demand and no supply if you are victim of a phishing scam how do you recover your money if you are victim of uh sex torsion online or anything or any of the online crimes how do you redress it there is nothing nothing and it is shameful that none of us have built any uh viable solution right for people to get redressal okay and i hope in the next one or two years three years we'll see indian lawyers building good uh, services not just traditional law firms but good services to address cyber security and cyber crimes that are happening here fintech regulations definitely fintech is booming fintech is growing like anything and there would be amazing opportunity for people who master fintech regulations online and cross border ipr enforcement this is huge because now ipr is becoming relevant cross border okay earlier we have seen this happening for the last 10 years for limited say bollywood movies is not only that you want to protect ipr of bollywood is in bollywood in india okay you might make a lot of money from china from bollywood movies or from for that matter from pakistan or bangladesh or from new york or america canada wherever right so cross border ipr enforcement is top notch priority today and you know um, not only for large movie houses or so even if you are a co online content creator you don't want your content to be copied by somebody else from a different country and online and cross border ip enforcement will be the highlight in the coming years for ip lawyers online defamation already this is going on in a major way uh, on one hand people claim they have a right to criticize companies they have a right to you know uh, and you you can see like major cases are happening going on in the courts now over online defamation and this will only grow from here and even like competitors writing bad things about each other uh because you know online world is such a world where you just have to go and say something bad i can say that whatever byvab is something horrible right doesn't matter some horrible accusation byvab is such a horrible person and you know he has done this 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 i have seen him doing blah 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 and then 10000 people will like it share it and it will just start a whole you know this thing right so this happens all the time and it's growing somebody can take a clip of your even imagine like people are in classroom children are in classroom somebody can make a take a video clip take it out of context something a teacher say take it out of context and then circulate and cause defamation so this will definitely be a huge area for lawyer cyber bullying absolutely e-commerce regulations this is going to be huge e-commerce regulations is uh because there is such a growth in e-commerce there is regulating it is also is a huge challenge there are not too many expect uh, you know revenge porn correct not too many experts on e-commerce regulations in india another area which has huge demand and very low supply earlier there are only few e-commerce companies few large e-commerce companies right today there are thousands and thousands of e-commerce companies just go and see right e-commerce companies are not restricted to amazon snapdeal and flipkart that time is gone for every small thing there is a different e-commerce company which is small 
may be doing a turnover of 1 crore 2 crore 10 crore nike is still huge right but i mean i was just see- seeing this this company doing more than couple of crores a month turnover just selling keto food online okay and there are many such players okay or in the keto market keto food market alone there are multiple players one company doing 2 crores per month it's incredible the way it's growing local stops have gone on shops have gone online anybody who has some unique product going online and selling it and this will continue to grow we have seen nothing this is going to be 100 times bigger than it is today cross border contract enforcement and arbitration this has become important because there is more money in cross border uh, <clears throat> business people have realized that doing business only within a small they are missing out on opportunities they need to be cross border business and people are increasingly indian business are going international increasingly so cross border contact enforcement and arbitration is a huge area of focus because of arbitrage because of arbitrage correct okay technology licensing this is going to be huge technology licensing because people are building technology and it needs to be licensed out and there are a lot of licensing contracts being signed one app was for booking playgrounds and stadiums and swimming pools and not one there are multiple such apps right platform and intermediary liability okay so platform and intermediary liability because people claim that i am a platform if somebody has posted something here i am not liable right so if somebody writes something defamatory on facebook facebook is not liable as long as they are taking it down quickly enough so if i complain to facebook that somebody posted something defamatory facebook acts on it then it's fine otherwise if they don't act on it facebook will also become liable if i sue facebook right insta facebook twitter uh, whatever like you can imagine twitter uh, whatever like there are hundreds of such uh, websites today and platform and intermediary liability has become super important investment practice is saying salman khan is a bad man since he killed innocent people online defamation i would say yes because it's not proven and if you go and say it if he files a defamation case against it you'll have to fight it you'll have to go to the court right and you will not be able to prove it that he has done it you have no proof right so uh, if you have proof and you can back it up this claim then surely you can write and then if you are sued in the court you go and prove it otherwise it would amount to defamation right that's what law says investment practice vc np right this is growing like anything because all this new technology all this new e-commerce business whenever they are becoming successful they are going and raising venture capital private equity money right check vc is venture capital p is private equity so vc and p money this is going to be even bigger in the coming years okay it's going to explode it is exploding already despite the pandemic despite economic downturn vc and p has grown and will continue to grow because disruption grows in the world vc and p grows okay because capital is needed to support that disruption merger and acquisitions both reasons one is that companies are not doing well then they might become available for buying for cheap okay as long as they have some valuable assets and then there are other companies which would which are you know bargain hunting in the market they have a lot of cash they want to buy up as many companies for cheap as possible so mna is increasing a lot has increased a lot uh, distressed at uh, asset restructuring this is also a very interesting area of work because assets which are distressed need uh, some kind of rescuing needs investment needs a loan or whatever restructuring is done for all of those so this also has become very interesting area of work